welcome back. You want to run PC games on your Intel Mac or even your M1 or M2 uh, without having to worry about Parallels or some other wacko program because we do know on Intel Macs we can actually run Windows 10 on our Intel Macs. Of course that depends on the age of your Mac too, its maximum operating system and what was the latest version of Windows it can run. For example, my MacBook uh, 2012 uh, laptop, um, it has no problem running Windows 10 with Catalina, um, and away we go, and we can run a lot of really cool PC games and run them actually really well depending upon the game. Now some games you can run in the higher graphic level, other games you're going to have to lower your standards a little bit. However, I did actually um, install Windows 10 on my 2012 MacBook Pro and I put on um, Skyrim Elder Scrolls 5 I guess they call it. Anyways, um, went from the SE uh, Special Edition to the Anniversary Edition update no problems, uh, but you do have to run the game on low graphics because um, you are running it for real. Like that's the nice thing about Intel Max is when you ran Windows on it, you use boot camp, you partition your drive, and you just do a straight install of Windows uh, 10 in this case, um, or it could have been Windows 8 or Windows 7, depends on your Mac. But check your game specs first to see what version of Windows, um, and of course, memory specs and video specs. Now I have 16 gigs of RAM in my 2012 MacBook Pro 500 gig SSD which I highly recommend um, as well and it does have a 1.5 gigabytes worth of video RAM. So yeah I can run Elder Scrolls Anniversary Edition but to run it really well um, and still getting actually a great picture because the one nice thing about this porting toolkit program from Paul Latall is that um, the graphics can be very much enhanced um, and not having to worry about going to like the higher level settings um, if you're using Paul the Tall's kit. Now you don't necessarily have to use the Paul the Tall kit, the porting kit, um, on an Intel Mac, but for some things it actually does come in quite handy. Um, other things, yeah, well, hey, just put Windows on your your Mac laptop, but if you don't want to run Windows, use this. Now as long as your game is in the list of games that he's got, um, then yeah, you should have no problem converting it, but like I said, you may have to suffer your settings down to low or medium, maybe even high settings, and watch your resolution too, because the higher the resolution you go to, of course, that does affect gameplay on any computer, period. Now on my Mac Mini M1, uh, one of the games I've been struggling with the most um, has been Far Cry, the original. And I kind of got it working all right on medium graphics today, but then I thought, I'm going to lower a couple of settings because I'm not too worried. Try and get a little bit more speed. That was the dumb thing. I should have just left everything at medium. <laughs> but it did finally start to run a bit better on my M1, and that's been since the last Mac OS update. So, you know, we got uh, Mac OS 14 coming out soon. Um, that might actually cure the Far Cry issue. I'm really not sure, but even at that, if it doesn't, that just means that Far Cry is a game that may not run worth a bean on an M1, even though it's been wrapped with this wrapping uh, toolkit, okay? Um, I did do Skyrim for the M1, and I found out that on Ultra Graphics 1080p, Game plays beautiful, but when I tried to go to 2K and 4K, well, things got a little on the laggy side, but I could have cured that by lowering my graphic standards a bit, but I figured, you know, it's still a 27-inch display no matter what. I'm okay at 1080p, and I get to go 1080p Ultra with absolutely no lag with that game. Now, I, excuse me, I do have other games that are, are wrapped, like Fallout New Vegas works fine, um, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas works really good. I even ran that up to 4K. It actually wasn't bad. Uh, Gun, um, Skyrim of course, The Elder Scrolls, uh, Special Edition. Now you can't wrap the Anniversary Edition because uh, he doesn't have it on the list. Um, and the Anniversary Edition I have is an update to the SE. 
so it converts it your launcher still stays as the SE no matter what um, even when you go to um, anniversary edition on Windows it, the launcher title is still listed as SE even though when you do load the game it is the anniversary edition uh, but uh, either way on the M1 you can only do the SE which is fine it runs perfectly well like I said I'm running it on my mini here um, hassle free you know ultra graphics 1080p no lag it's great um, another game I've got on here is Unreal Tournament 2004 it's not bad Unreal's not bad um, and Unreal Gold well it's it's the lousiest graphics on the planet anyways because that's way back um, but it does run okay but these ones can be a little bit interesting but you know so not everything's going to be perfect uh, Soldier Fortune Platinum Edition that actually runs really well wrapped and running on the M1 okay anyways um, and I got a few others kicking around here too but if you look at all the games and there's tons of them here like there is literally a ton of games like you know you got a lot of options here just to, to get you through a few of these anyways um, so you can see I mean if a game you're interested in is here then you can do it now the one place that we get our games from you, now you can't take a PC CD for example or a set of CDs and just um, you know install it that way and wrap it it doesn't quite work that way because most of those CDs uh, they still need the CD in the drive, regardless. So that doesn't work. Uh, GOG.com is where one place, at least I know of for sure, uh, that you can buy these games already been um, recalibrated, we'll say, uh, to uh, be able to just install without a CD. And you won't even need your code or anything. It's fine. Um, totally legit. No problems. Um, and so you just download the file or files that you require and then you can wrap things from there and voila you've got a full-fledged running game and that's how we do it through through GOG you can also download stuff from Steam as well um, so you can bring it in right from Steam and uh, convert it to run on the Mac it's that simple and easy uh, so it's great um, it allows us to play a lot of uh, really cool games uh, on the M1, but also on older Intel Macs, um, you know, especially, I mean, this program was originally done on Intel Macs, uh, because a lot of people don't want to run Windows, they hate it, and this is just another way, you know, around having to put Windows on your computer, but we do know that on the Apple Silicon computers, we can no longer run Windows with boot camp, so we're stuck with these applications like Parallels, that gives it, it's kind of like a fake out. I call it soft PC with Windows just glorified. And there's always bugs in those things too. Um, but, you know, some of your games, maybe they will work better under parallels than being wrapped. Um, Apple now has a, a porting kit as well. Um, you do have to join the development team, which no longer costs you any money, which is great. Um, and you can download that kit and convert games that way, which is something that actually does work really well um, with the Apple Silicon chips. Somebody actually got uh, Cyberpunk 2077 running on an M2, although it wasn't the world's best um, uh, frames per second out of the game, um, you know, yet, but tweaking. you got to learn how to tweak with that program. At least with this thing, everything's automated with the option to tweak settings, um, and that's fine. And at least tweaking settings with this is actually a little easier because what you would do is you go to your program that you want and say we're on Elder Scrolls right show package contents click on the wine skin and then go to advanced click on tools click on configuration utility and that's going to get you into a little bit of an area um, where here you can uh, change something like the version of Windows right for compatibility if you're having issues you can back backwards compatible it to any one of the versions of Windows operating system that are in the list right and that that could help clear up some bugs right you got your graphics area uh, that allows you a little bit of messing around and stuff your main libraries uh, desktop integration now 
you know, you, you, you got to kind of sort of know what you're doing in a sense. So study up on this program and, and read all the literature on it so you got a better idea what you're doing. Um, and besides, if you make a huge disaster, it's no big deal. Just delete the application and um, just redo this, the wrapper on it and you're fine. No big deal, you know. So, I mean, at least it's easy enough to go backwards, you know what I mean? Um, then you've got a wine tricks editor area as well. Uh, options here, um, you know, system wide setting, must reboot for this. Uh, set max files to 10,240. Uh, 10, um, try shut down nicely so Windows program may prompt with warning and save options. Etc. Uh, Etc. Et you got an advanced area as well here too. Um, other configuration stuff. You know, so I mean, there, there's there's quite a bit of stuff in here. You can even go into the registry editor, task manager, command line area, uh, all that sort of stuff. Okay, so you you do have quite a bit in here. You can mess with, and this messes only with the wine skin that's related to the game you've converted. Okay, so it works. Anyways, um, program files area. So this is like having like miniature versions of Windows, really. Um, this is kind of what I take it as. But uh, I've never really dived that deep into it. I more or less just, you know, do my thing, download what I want to play and convert it and see which computer it runs the best on. Some programs will run ultimately awesome uh, on an Intel, but maybe not so great on the M2 or M1 or M2, but vice versa. Um, like I said, Far Cry still sucks on the M1, but I can wrap Far Cry, put it on my Intel Mac, and it runs absolutely perfect. You know, no big deal. But I have to watch my graphic level too that I go to because I may or may not have a problem, right? Uh, but at least I've got it up to, to running, uh, I believe, medium graphics on the one side and high on the other. But anyways... Um, you know, you just work out the bugs the way you need to, and you can enjoy all your favorite PC games, or a good chunk of them at least. But, uh, and some of these games, of course, do require a much more powerful computer. So, you know, just because you have an older Mac does not necessarily mean all these games are going to run. You know, some of them are going to require a much more powerful computer than what you may have already, so keep that in mind, right? This is why we look up the games we want to do, find out what their system specs for the PC are, and then we decide from there, you know, should we do this on our Intel Mac or maybe we should give this a go on the, the on the M1 or the M2. Maybe it'll work better that way. And if this program doesn't work for you, you do have Apple's gaming porting kit as well. Um, failing that, um, you do have Parallels Desktop that definitely uh, is available for Apple Silicon. And now you can actually get Windows 11 as well. Uh, with that so you do have the options to be able to run games that aren't normally supported on the Mac like technically Skyrim is not Mac supported right so at least that's what I read up on today um, so I thought well it may not be and I do have the PC version of the game but unfortunately, I could not go to Anniversary Edition, which was fine. I really don't care. The fact is, I can play the game, and I can go Ultra Graphic Settings at 1080p and zero lag. Now, that's cool. And that's a pretty um, raunchy game. Like, it's more demanding than Far Cry, yet Far Cry is far less demanding, and it doesn't run with a crumb on my M1 as a wrapped program. So, like I said, not everything is perfect and equal, right some games will perform very well others won't i even tried far cry at the lowest possible settings which is ugly as can be um and yeah still to no avail it wasn't working right but now i got a little glimmer of hope today at all medium settings but then i had to go and screw with the settings in the game so i gotta go fire the game back up and put those settings back to medium and i should be sort of playable okay at least before it was totally unbearably unplayable now at least it's kind of playable so maybe ios or mac os 14 may straighten that out and it'll be very playable at medium or high graphics we'll have to wait and see but anyways thanks for watching um do check it out just look up paul the tall porting kit um and uh go from there go download it from his main website 
and voila, rock and roll. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.